Hi everyone, I'm Jason Kasadek here at the Enterprise 2.0 conference, and joining me here is Jim Grubb, the Vice President of Corporate Communication and Architecture at, um, at Cisco, uh, Cisco System, yes, yeah, sorry, excuse me. So Jim, um, you just finished your keynote uh, entitled Managing People and Process Across a Networking Organization. Why do you think it's such a key and important topic for the Enterprise 2.0 conference? Well, as I mentioned in the keynote, you know, one of the things that we as, uh, as Web 2.0 and Enterprise 2.0 uh, advocates, sometimes we're looking at the individual, you know, um, micro components of value, of business value that we get back from uh, these technologies as we deploy the technologies. Sometimes I think we miss the big picture. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to talk about the big picture, which has to do with the way we organize and the, w and the way that we get done work done as an organization. Uh, the concept of the networked organization is really one that goes beyond hierarchy, the hierarchical organization, the matrix organization structure to a networked organizational structure, which is really a virtual overlay because uh, t typically companies will still have some hierarchical structure in place, but we need to be able to work across those um, structures. Mm -hmm. and. We need to be able to address all of the different modes of operating, whether we're focusing on geography, customer segment, uh, product type, or uh, working within a given discipline like marketing or sales or engineering, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah, and one of the key points that I, that I took out from your keynote was that you mentioned that the org chart needs to be dynamically ordered to the moment, which is very That's true. Right. So yeah. um, can you touch a little bit more on that? Like, um, like it, you're basically saying that everyone has a, has a role in everything. Is that correct? Or well, no, actually not. That that's that's the point. Not everyone has a role in everything, but as individuals, we have roles in multiple different disciplines. Mm -hmm. So, but but no individual is the same. And this right. is the beautiful. This is the beauty of using the business social networking tools because it exposes is the social graph, right. right? So, so the point is that I may work on a given geography or two. I may work on a given product or two, um, or have specialty in a given uh, area of product. I may be uh, a specialist in my discipline because I'm a marketing person or I'm an engineering person. Uh, and what you want to do is be able to get people from all these disciplines to, to come together to work on different problems. But these virtual teams will be focusing typically on a problem of customer segment or geography or product type, for example. So great, great. Um, so what key takeaway or advice would you offer the Enterprise 2.0 community? Well, what I would say is to be effective at this, it doesn't, it, it requires much more than just deploying the technology. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, it's, um, you know, if you, if you go back and you think about, well, you know, what impact did the telephone have on, on business, for example? It had a huge impact, but it, it took us some time to figure out how do we use the telephone to do business differently. Mm -hmm. And so I think it really requires a thoughtful process and the ability to come back and put a set of processes in place that allow you to have shared accountability mm -hmm. for different uh, uh, for these different areas. So account shared accountability for geography, shared accountability for product type, shared accountability for customer segment, and that and that from a culture perspective you reward people in a shared fashion across across these things. So, so this requires considerable rethink of the way that we do uh, accountability and and uh, also how we reward folks. Great. Well, thank you so much Jim, for taking time on your busy schedule and appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you very much. Right, you're welcome. <laughs>